and one year ago, a series of tornadoes tore through Pottawatomie County, with Shawnee experiencing extensive damage. Today, many areas are still recovering, and reporter Jameson Keevover spoke with some of the individuals leading those efforts and how they're preparing for the next big storm. Not so temporary traffic lights and homes still under construction, but Shawnee, Oklahoma looks remarkable compared to where the city was one year ago. We had about 20 miles worth of damage um, just from the Shawnee tornado. On April 19th, 2023, five tornadoes struck Pottawatomie County, including an EF2 tornado in Shawnee. No one was killed or severely hurt in the storm, and officials say that's because the community was weather prepared. Chad Larman is the director of Pottawatomie County Emergency Management. I was up for uh, 38 hours straight um, in the response mode there at the beginning. He's part of county preparedness. Larman drives us through some of the hardest hit areas where people are still rebuilding their homes and their lives. All of these houses were pretty much damaged and still being rebuilt. One year later, he is still coordinating efforts, waiting for disaster payouts from FEMA and improving the county's response plans. We're actively training, we're actively doing exercises with all of the emergency responders and we're here for the for the people of the county. He said the county has also hired a volunteer coordinator as hundreds of folks tried helping after the storm. We've come a long ways throughout the entire county. In Shawnee, Oklahoma Baptist University experienced damage to every building on campus. It is strange thinking it was it was a year ago, looking at all of the buildings that we've had to touch. Sitting among the construction, Dr. Heath Thomas, president of OBU, explains how the devastation turned into opportunity. The university already planned to make significant campus upgrades, but the tornado swept the timeline up. It kind of increased the scope of all of the projects uh, to include the entire campus. The Wood Science Building was hit in the storm, but got more than just repairs. There are new labs and study centers. While most buildings are re-roofed and repaired, OBU's oldest building, Shawnee Hall and Rayleigh Chapel, are still awaiting renovations. We've seen students and community pull together here on campus. And that's been really encouraging. In spite of the tornado, the university is growing. We're up 9% in enrollment overall year on year. So, uh, you know, it's possible. It's possible for communities to rally around and move forward. You still hear the chainsaws. You still see the cleanup trucks around Pottawatomie County one year after the tornado. And for places like Colonial Estates, it's taken them more than a year to open back up to residents. The nursing home is slowly coming back together, making room for new experiences after so much was lost. We were there after 79 people were saved when the building lost its roof and walls crumbled. These are gonna bloom, you want these in your yard. For the past year, the staff has worked at other facilities, but they are back and making final improvements. It's been hard. They've shared their expertise with these facilities, but everybody's ready to come back home. We're ready to get going. The facility is set to reopen in a couple months. And as so many places around Shawnee look normal again, the threat of severe weather returns. Yeah, are we ready? We'll just do the same thing again if it happens. I send out videos saying, hey, all right, everybody, you know, weather's coming in. Are we ready? Know what your protocols are. Know where you need to go if we need it, but we're going to ride this together. Are we prepared for the next one? Absolutely. We're, uh, I think we're going to be stronger than what we was. We're, we're not going to shy away from any response. We're here to help, help the public and make sure they're safe, and that's our job, and we're not going to let anything hamper that. I'm Jameson Kefover reporting. Pottawatomie Emergency Management is working with the state on a storm shelter program, and this would reimburse people 75% of their costs for installing a shelter. Larman said once the funding and program is in place, people in Pot County will be notified.